Hello, I hope you are doing fine wherever you are watching me from. I'm Evans Lukmana from the Divest Learning Institute in Germany, Hamburg to be specific. Here we are. Soon we are the Central Hamburg University. So here I'm your tutor teacher for German language and we are still continuing with our chapter seven called Einkaufen or Shopping. Now, before we continue with our class or with our lesson, I'm gonna do some little bit of promo. You better invite your relatives, your friends to enroll onto our program. Okay, that was some piece of promotion. Sign up with the Divest Learning Institute right in Germany, right in Zambia, or wherever you are in the world. We're gonna reach you through the contact distance learning. But remember, in Zambia, we've got the full part-time and CDL at the same time. It's like right here in Germany. Now, here we go. Remember, this is the book we are working with, one of the very, very best German language books. If you don't have one, get one, okay? Nonetheless, I'm here to drive for you. So I'm gonna share the screen and again, get back to our course. Here we go. Okay. This is where we ended. Let me try to draw you back to, I uh, hope you recognize the colors here. Yeah, I love colors and stuff. Okay, we did that, we did that. Now we're going to continue from this point. Ah, haben wir Zucker? You know what it means now. I want to explain. Okay. A eins ordnen sie zu. Ordnen, you know that. Okay, we have to make some order here from here what belongs to where, okay? Fleisch, this I'm gonna give you, okay? Fleisch means uh, meat. Beer is beer, just like the normal beer. Käse, remember there's, I hope you're able to see that, the dots on top of R. Uh, becomes case cheese salt salt s sounds like z z like s that's what i'm saying salt salt t t broad bread wine wine mineral vasa mineral water remember Vaza, yeah, this is water, mineral, mineral, but we say mineral in German, mineral, vaza. Rice, rice in English. Suka, oh, suka is everywhere. Sugar, fish is fish. Mel, that's meal or flower if you may like it that way so what you do is take your time just that number one where does it go to number two where does it go to number three and so on and so forth of course you are able to tell since you have written what all these are so just match them up as simple as all that okay cds no problem i'm gonna be your cd even today Ah, uh, right. ZNZ das Bild an. Hören Sie und verreden Sie. Okay, so listen and also make some ordnung. Check what belongs where and you can also exchange and 
talk about what is in this picture and from the CD. Das Bild, okay, you know the meaning of Das article for build, build is picture, okay, photo is photo as well, build is picture. Warren Z listen and check it out. I think we've made this photo somewhere or build upward there. Haben wir Soka? Yeah. Haben wir Brot? Nein. Okay. So here, if you are able to listen to the CD, you are going to check what is correct here. Varianten. Varianten. Okay. Varianten. Just like English, but from variant. Okay. From variant. Male rise. So here now you just place all this and you can ask how been via male, how been via rise. Then the other person can answer or respond or the aunt button. Yeah, order nine. Okay. I've been via vasa, I've been via mineral vasa, fish, flies, vine, and so on and so forth. I think you've got it all. Okay. Some of you, you come in, you know, when you come here as students, okay. Um, I know Zambia, they have been teaching their students that are coming to Germany uh, soon. And you've got friends. When you come here, you're going to be practicing as well. Okay. Push back sometimes your English, leave it behind Zambia when you are in Germany and you're going to go through. You know, you are in a supermarket, there's Penny. Penny is popular. Marked Kauf is very popular. Uh, ILD is popular. Uh, Edeka popular supermarket as well, and so on and so forth. So sometimes just go into the supermarket, you're pushing the trolley, and cuff baggage, and you ask your friend, Ketiwe, haben wir Suka? Then maybe, you know, Ketiwe's friend responds, yeah, haben wir Suka? For the Noah, yeah. Okay, and so on and so forth. Very good. So. Let's go to the next. Here, they're just repeating the same stuff, just, you know, um, communication. Haben wir Suka, ja, oder nein? Gehen wir weiter? CD, nochmal. A dry, wollen Sie und spielen Sie weitere Gespräche? Listen, that is to the CD, and play, spielen, oh, you're masters of verbs now. Excuse me, spielen is to play. Play, uh, weitere, weitere is uh, going forward. Weiter is continuing, okay? The conversation, okay? Like in this case, so I've given you an example. Then it's going to be you to use your own, of course, uh, items that you are buying or you want to buy depending on the conversation here so here you can see okay das mädchen the little girl the kauft uh, be the eye yeah these are the eggs mm -hmm. the kaufering shopkeeper the seller okay Entschuldigung, you know the meaning of Entschuldigung. We did this one. If you've forgotten, please check it out again. Excuse me, Entschuldigung. Haben Sie Aya? She's asking. Entschuldigung, haben Sie Aya? Do you have eggs? What is she saying? Haben Sie Aya? She's respecting this lady because she's so small. That's why she's saying Sie Aya. The lady responds, Aya? Yeah, naturally. Okay. Of course, I don't even have to explain this one. You can pick it up from English, just the same. Naturally. Yes, naturally. Like always there. Here, bitte. Okay. Here, bitte. Here is like the same in English. Here. H E R E. Here, please, when you are giving uh, somebody who's bought something. Here, bitte. Bitte is please. Uh, the small girls, 
continues. Die Mädchen geht weiter. Und haben sie auch Milch? And do you also auch also have Milch? Nein, tut mir leid. No, excuse me. Okay, tut mir leid also can be sorry. Oh, no, sorry. Okay, just that. These are some of the things you're gonna face when you are here. Okay. Aya, okay, bananen, milk, suka, chocolate. Just like that. Afia, ein Kaufs, mm -hmm. Settel, ein Kaufs, Settel. Now, here you know this word. Ein Kauf, from Ein Kaufen. Our topic, Einkaufen, shopping. So, this Einkauf, then there is here, I want to do that. Zettel, uh, super from Z, here, two words. Zettel is a small piece of paper. You know, when you go shopping, especially myself, when I go shopping, I don't write, I just shop randomly. Okay, but I know, especially ladies, you wanna, you are so, you know, in order, you write, you know, your shopping list. That is a setter, okay? Shopping card or paper, that's a setter, anything, okay? Like, I've got something like this. I hope you are able to see small thing to write on. That's a setter. So, I'm Kauf. Settle, but there is connecting letter here S. Remember what I told you normally when we combine in German two words, different words, there's a connecting word. So in this case, it's S. And now settle, meaning a shopping list. Okay? Shopping list. Ah, was haben Sie zu Hause? Hmm, you know what it means? What? Do okay, what's a business house? What do you have at home? House okay, so house house without e is house, but when you say so house okay, this combination brings in e. So, what happens this was what do you have at home? So, they are asking the reader now, like they're asking me who's teaching me. Zeichnen Sie oder schreiben Sie. So they are simply saying, okay, you can show, remember, Zeichnen is to show, Zeichnen Sie, point out or show, order or schreiben, or you can write, okay? So, yeah, let's check. Mm, okay, this is going to be my settle. This is Setter, my setter. Now this is Ivas. Let me check. Guess what is home? Ich habe Käse. Da, ja. Habe ich Käse. Milch. Brot. Was noch? Zucker. Salz. Was noch? Fanta, nein. Cola, nein. Uh, fly nine. Okay, that's us. Okay, so now I'm asking you, the student, was haben Sie zu Hause? Okay, if you're a small girl or a small boy, I'm going to say, was hast du zu Hause? Was hast du zu Hause? Informal. Okay, here we go. Or if I'm asking you, Bruno. Two people you are living together can ask you, hey guys, was haben Sie zu Hause? Okay? Or if I don't want to use Z, I'm going to E. Was habt ihr zu Hause? Okay? I'm going to use this. Okay, was habt from haben? I like colors. Und 
Was habt ihr zu Hause? I'm talking to plural. Okay. Now, look at this here. Kim's Einkaufs Zettel. Meaning, this person is Kim. S is possessive apostrophe. Kim's, like Johnny's or Maria's a shopping list. Okay. So, of course, rice, tomatin, das, 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 das. Okay. What is important here is how to ask and how to respond. And remembering the names of the items in question, very important. Sorry, too much colors. But we're running away from here. B, fragen Sie Ihre Partnerin, Ihren Partner. Was braucht Sie eher? Okay, ask your, your partner who is feminine, partnerin, or your partner who is masculine, partner. Was braucht sie? What does she need or does he need? Brauchen. Remember? Schreibe sie dann einen Einkaufszettel für ihre Partnerin, the partner. So, then write, you are asking your partner, okay? For instance, was hast du zu Hause? She tells you or he tells you. Suka, then you write suka. Brought, you write brought. So in any case here, you are practicing how to write from your memory in German, okay? All these food items, awesome, interesting. German made simple, okay? So, Kim, brauchst, brauchst du Käse? Nein. Brauchst du rice? Yeah. Just like that, you'll be asking, okay? If Limpo, Limpo is one of the students, okay? In one of the cities in Zambia, probably calling Pika. Limpo maybe is talking to Obed, okay? Obed, Brox do caller, then Obed responds nine. Maybe Obed asks Limpo, Brax do rice, limpo, zagt, yeah, and so but Very simple. Okay, here we go. B, das ist doch kein Ei. This is not very clear. Check it out. Maybe if I color it a bit, I, yeah, egg. Okay, E, E, O, E, I, doch. Okay, dog, how would I put it? It's not something, a word as much. Dog only gives an emphasis, okay? Like positive, for instance, if um, I have anything brought, okay, in my hand, then somebody tells me, Evans, that's not bread. I will simply say dog, meaning that's bread. Okay, so giving some positive connotation. Okay, for instance, um, you know that I love soccer. Okay, and there's gonna be football, soccer, whatever you're gonna call it. Okay, powered animals, that's my team. Okay. Playing, for instance, Manchester United, and it's going to be right on TV, on ZDF German TV. So I'm waiting. Poor Dynamos of Zambia playing Manchester, it's going to be right on TV. Then I receive a call. Ah, Evans. Okay. Cooks to football all day. Are you watching football today? I don't just have to say, yeah. I say, doch. Okay. Doch means emphasis. Yeah. Confirming that one is a must. That was just an example. Here we go. B eins hören Sie und ordnen Sie zu. Listen and fill out here. But we don't have, let's try to make sense out of that. And we are here, das Mädchen 
small girl und Verkauferin, the sales lady. Now here they are saying take kein, kein, keine, and fill out. I think here it's not clear. There's some blank here to be filled, and there's some blank here to be filled. Here it is already filled as an example. Now, like I said in the other lesson, the previous lesson, I think, you can use kein if something is not feminine, okay? It's article, could either be there or das. Now let's check. Um, there's a yellow spot here, it's a conversation here. Das ist doch kein I. Okay, emphasis, this is not an egg. Kein is not an egg. It's already given, crossed out. And we know the reason why it's written kein, isn't it? Why, remember, we did this. The egg. Okay, this is how we check. The egg, sorry, I'm going to change the English to dot. Das I. You get a point? So, an egg. Ein I. Okay, so an egg and I. Negative, we put K, kind. I, okay, so kind I. Das ist Schokolade. Okay, you see, this is not an egg. It is chocolate, sorry. Another person, nein, das ist mm, Schokolade. Das ist mm, Schokolade I. Okay, chocolate, chocolate egg. Now, so it's a negative here. No, this is not chocolate. Okay, this is a chocolate egg. Okay, so now what are we going to put here? Das ist. Keine Schokolade. So Keine is going to come here. Okay? Why Keine? Because chocolate article is the Schokolade. Okay? That's why it's Keine. The Schokolade. Now, here, but how come we are saying das ist ein Chocolate I. Why not eine? Because of this carries the definition of the article I. Okay? Does chocolate I? Okay? So the article of everything here is does chocolate I? That's why we are getting I. You get a point. Perfect. Now let's go, let's check here. The conjugation, the conjugations. Ein Apfel, we have done this. Negative, kein Apfel. Ein Ei, kein Ei. Eine Bene, keine Bene. You know the reason why we've discussed this. Awesome. Best right. Was ist das? What is this? Zeit den Sie und sprechen Sie. Okay. Point out and speak it. Arbeiten Sie auch mit dem Wörterbuch. Arbeiten, you know that. Arbeiten Sie, work also 
with the dictionary. Write down this. I think you are meeting this for the first time. Wörterbuch is dictionary. If you split here, I'm gonna do that. Wörter, words, book, book. So a book of words. In this case, which is Wörterbuch, which is dictionary. Okay, the dictionary. So now you can check what's the article for dictionary. Let's go. This is how you check. The dictionary. Aha, uh -huh, you get it? So the dictionary, you can figure out, write down, das Wörterbuch. Okay? So if you write, okay, my dictionary, look at this, mine, not mine. Why? Because of das, mine. Wörterbuch, okay? Okay, good, let's go back. So make use of your dictionary, Google Dictionary in your mobile phone and it gives you the articles of any item. It could not be perfect to write sentences, but single words, items you're gonna get correct. Here we go. So now here, please, this is your homework I'm gonna give you, okay? Use your dictionary, use your Google Translator, okay? Ein Ei, you know that. Eine Banane, you know that. Ein Apfel, you know that. Ein Orange, you know that. Ein Kuchen, you know that. Ein Café, Café is coffee. Check it out, it's a new one, coffee. Ein Zapt, Zapt is a soft drink. Like, sorry, Zapt is juice, not drink, juice. Okay, Zapt. I'm brushing. I'm brushing. Can I let you to research? Okay, no problem. Brushing is brought. Remember, brought is bread. Brushing. Remember what I said about shen. Okay, I'm going to do this. When you see shen anywhere at the end, uh, I want to do it again. When you see shen, shen means small. So broad, big, broad, small, and you know what it means, a row, like a barn can be a, a broad, okay, or rows, those are broad. Ein Wuschen, we discussed this, okay, also here, Chen, Wurst is sausage, Chen, small sausage, okay, Wuschen, eine Biene, okay, we know that, Biene pears, eine Tomate, you can tell, I don't even have to translate tomato, a tomato or one tomato, eine Kiwi, Kiwi, also in English, we call them kiwi, isn't it? Kiwis. As simple as all that. Conversation here, there's a spot, I think, and here there's a spot. Blue, blue. Wie heißt das auf Deutsch? Das ist eine Orange. Wie heißt das auf Deutsch? What is this called in German? Okay, so it's like somebody's pointing here, then you have to say it here, you've got to say it here, you've got to say it. Why are you, they setting you up? If you know, here, yeah. okay, the articles. Are you going to say eine or ein? Get a point. So, das ist ein orange. Okay, I think, mm, is that an, ah, yeah, orange here, orange. Why eine? Because of D. Okay, D orange. Und was ist das? And what is this? Mm, what can we point here? Let's check this one. You can see banana. Oh, let's answer first this one here. Das ist ein Wuschen. Okay, ein Wuschen. That is 
a small sausage. Ah, here it is. Right. Here we go. You can see my cancer and devotion. Okay. Good. On that here, broaching. This is a raw broaching. I. 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 So try to figure out everything that you've got here. And please, that's your homework. I want you to add, okay, it's article for everything. Cafe, egg, viene, on, 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 okay? No, what you're gonna do is this, because it's easy, already you are given here. I want you to say, that is negative. I want you to, to negate, okay? Just make negative of all these, okay? Make negative. Does, you're going to say does, does, is, okay, my painting is coming. Does, is, dish. I give you this one. Does, is, negative. Kain I Das is Kaine Banane. Okay, and you know where I'm going to. Please, that's your homework. You're gonna write down your answers. I'm gonna check. Thank you. Let's move on. Okay, this can go. Here we go. Super. Bed dry. A against and Z. Ah, fill out the blanks here. Mm. Okay, let's see. If I know if you know very well, if you are good at telling from the pictures. Ah, das is kein Apfel. Okay, das is eine Tomate. Yeah, this is not an apple. This is a tomato. Okay, kein. All the time, just check the articles. B, das ist keine Kiwi. Das ist, mm, this is not Kiwi, Kiwi. What is this? This skin looks like, am I right? Looks like orange. Okay, let's call it orange. Das ist eine Orange. Eine. Why eine Orange? Here we go. Here. Because orange is D. Now I'm sure you are building up as well. Oh, what what is this? This looks like uh, hmm? I don't know what this is. Potato. Okay, let's see if we've got on the example here. Because what we've got, ah, I think it's this. It's the Vienne. I know Vienne. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does is kind of tomato. This is not tomato. Das ist eine Biene. Yep, eine Biene. Perfect. So just go back to uh, the list given. Now, what is this? I don't know what this is. Please, if you're good at checking stuff, these bumpies. Oh, das ist kein Kuchen. Das ist what looks similar. I'm not quite sure. You want to check it. But a drawing. Das is kind version. This is not a sausage. Das is what is this also? I don't know what this fruit is. If you check it, please fill out. But I know this is banana. Banana. Das is kind Biene. Yes. Das is aha. Uh -huh. Eine banane. Very good. Okay, because I'm able to figure it out. Here we go. Very simple, isn't it? Very simple. Shopping in Germany is very simple. Getting simple as simple as we move on towards the end of this topic. Be fear. Spiel. Play. Zeichnen sie. Die anderen raten. Was is das? Okay. Point out the other raten. Raten is to guess. Versus das. 
Okay, let's check. Is the das ein Wurschen? Okay, like somebody picks uh, something, a food, then asks, is das ein Wurschen? Is this a small sausage? Then you respond, nein, das ist kein Wurschen. Then he asks again, eine Banane? A banana? Ja, genau. Das stimmt. Yes, genau means exactly. Das stimmt means exactly also to the point. Okay? Perfect. I think this is the man here drawing something, then they are answering. So just know what are we learning here? The articles. Eine, ein. Kein, keine. And the names of the food stuff dictated by their natural, their original articles, their D does. You see, I told you from the beginning, I think that was the the first first was das alphabet, second was their D does. I even emphasized, I said, follow very well, short topic, but it's going to affect us throughout the German course. A eins, as right, B eins. Best why say I says what we we'll never run away from the articles. Okay, great, but keep building up. Cuffs do bitte ten aya. Okay. Are you buying please ten eggs? Okay, or please buy ten eggs. Now you know how to interpret this. This is a little girl made chain. CD we don't have, but I'm gonna read you. Wouldn't see und ordnen sie zu. Listen und make order, fill out here. Oh, this is, I, I recognize, very nice. Very nice, you come here, you're gonna like it. Aya bananen fan Oh, I think you have already done everything, okay. Ten. Aya, so you're going to write Aya here, ten, Aya, try bananen. Okay, it comes here. Oh, pancake, you see, with layers. Very nice. She makes very, very good. Swansik van kuchen. You know, it's the pancakes. So there are layers. You can count them. One, two, three, four. So here in this plate, there are 20. Okay, here you go. Says why Odin these two kiwis, apfel, orange, orangean, brote, aya, bananen, tomaten, bienen, vushen. Now, ein kauf, ein kaufsbaden. This is the trolley, the pusher. Okay, because you are when you're coming from Shoprite in Zambia. Uh, coming from um, uh, Kamunga in Chimema there, Zambia, Kitwe. <laughs> I hope it's still there, Kamunga is still there. You, you know, we would push that. Now here they're saying, you've got to check what is here compared to what is in the wagon, okay? Im Ankauf's wagon. Wagen, write it down. Wagen is this pusher, okay? When you push the trolley, wagon, handcuffs, shopping, trolley, handcuffs, wagon. Now, let's start with this here. Here it is uh, positive, what is inside. Here, what is not inside. In handcuffs, wagon, in, so in here, in Ankauf's wagon, sind are kiwis. So you check, you can see here, I think oranges, orangean, here, bananen, brot. Oh, what's this? Ah, sausages, I think. 
Wurzchen, ja, so sie jetzt muss so sie Wurzchen. What else? Yeah. What's that? Okay, wanna check? I think looks like a cake. Okay, let's check it out. So this is what is inside. Now, what is not inside? In Ankaufs Wagen sind keine. Oh, sind. Why already keine? Because we are using a. A goes with a at the end. Remember this, yeah? Or e at the end. Sind keine. Then whatever you are going to write here should be plural because uh, no apples, apple. What is not inside here? We can check. Tomatoes not here. Tomaten. That's plural. What is not here? Oh, I think there are no eggs also. Yeah, you can say kind, kind of aya, no eggs. And so on and so forth. Important here is just how to utilize a goes with plural of negative kaine. Okay? Good. Let's check here grammatic and conjugation, communication. Ein after plural after. Ein kuchen doesn't change kuchen. Brot, brote, we have done this. I, I, a plural. Eine banane, bananen. Eine kiwi, kiwis. So, okay. Plural, singular. That's it. And so on and so forth. Just the same stuff, yeah? Let's go. Say dry. Suchen Sie im Wörterbuch und ergänzen Sie. Okay. Suchen Sie im Wörterbuch, check from the dictionary. In this case, please uh, check from uh, your Google, English, German. Okay. Und ergänzen Sie. Or in this case, you put German. You, you copy this, put from the German side in your Google, and it's going to give you in English, what they are saying, by spill. Eine Kartoffel. I'm going to help you here. Kartoffel, this is the stop of food. Just like there is maize or, or meal meal in Zambia. Okay. In Germany, main food is Kartoffel. Potatoes means potato. Ein potato. Try that often. There's going to be an at the end. You're going to miss that. So one, a potato and yogurt. Yogurt, oh, you cannot tear it out. A yogurt or one yogurt. Of course, I need sweet bell. I need sweet bell. Yeah, sweet bell is onion. Sweet bell is onion. Why I ne? You know now. The sweet bell. Ein fish. Ein fish. Not eine fish. So it can be der fish or the das fish. So you can check, for instance, fish. Okay, let's check. The fish. This is how you check. Okay. Der fish. A fish is going to be ein fish. So I'm teaching you how you can search research for yourself. I don't have to tell you all the articles. Very good. So there are fish, ein fish. So I cut off them. Now, two potatoes. You bring in N at the end. So I cut off them. Dry. Okay, what do you say with your gut? You're going to check fear. Or four, what do you say with yoga? Do you say yogurt or something? Um, onions, you research on that one. Four onions, are you still going to write fear, sweet bell, or sweet bell, or something else? What about three fish, pieces of fish? Are you going to, start to write dry 
fish, just like it is, you research on that one. Simple. Great. There we go. Hmm. We've got, I think, is this a fridge or no? These are rigor shelves, yes. Safe here. Zook build. Now you can build this, the words Zook build. Zook from Zooken. Zooken is to search or to look for something. So build, you know that is a picture. So a search picture. Okay, search picture. Bus is in regard bay and us. What is in regard? Regard. Regard means shelf. These are shelves. Okay, shelf cabinet. Regard B. Remember, regard means okay shelves. So what is in B? And us different. What is different in B that is compared to A? The A, B, A. What is different? So you're gonna check. Okay. Spread and zimit error partner in or error partner on find and z the z ben unterschiede. So excuse me. Speak with your partner or your partner. Partner in, you know what I'm talking about here. In German, we differentiate, okay? Uh, masculine and feminine. That's why there's partner in, partner. And finden, find, okay? Die sieben, die sieben, the seven, unterschiede. Unterschiede. Unterschiede means differences. If you remove E at the end, it's going to be untashid, meaning difference. Okay, so there are seven different things here. So you're going to point out with your uh, partner or partner. Let's check. For instance, now people are talking. In Riga A, Zind dry banana. Okay. You know what it means. In regular, in this shelf, A are three bananas. Okay, now let's go here. In Riga B, sind keine bananen. Hmm. Okay, so here there are three bananas, it's true. But here, keine bananen, there are no bananas. That's what they're differentiating. What else? Ah, look, I'm seeing something here. Kuchen. There's one here and here. Two. Okay, so I want you to make also the differentiating factors, like in this case. Okay, in Riga A, here, not Zind, East. Okay. Now, the interest is, are you going to use, because it's one, are you going to use ein, okay, ein Kuchen, and here, are you going to use, or here, are you going to use ein, or eine, okay? You've got to go back, you've got to go back, here, check. Ein Kuchen, Ein Kuchen. So you're gonna say, in Riga A is Ein Kuchen. In Riga B, sind, sind A, zwei Kuchen. It's like that. So, you compare others and follow the same format that I have used. Okay? Good. Let's go. De Preise und Menge Mengen angeben. Mengen angeben. 
Yes, in Germany now we are splitting. Okay. Okay. Menge, price. Okay, let me start from here. Price is singular. Okay, price. Like, what's the price of this? The price is $20, 20 euros, and so on. Price means plural prices. What are the prices of the things in this shop, for instance? Menge, menge means like quantity. Okay, menge means quantity. And given available, things available. So now connecting letter N, mengen and given, okay? Available quantities, write down somewhere, okay? Available quantities. When you enter a supermarket, anywhere, I mean, those are, you know, available quantities of things. CD, no CD, it should be here shown. The eyes, silent, okay, numbers, or in this case, silent payments, okay. Warren Z und Verbinden Z, okay, you're gonna listen what they're talking about, the new Verbinden, remember Verbinden means connect, okay. A, B, C, D, A. So this is how we present. Um, I think in uh, dollars, we used to differentiate from the cents to the main money, we use point. Kwacha, also Zambian kwacha, we use point, okay? Like in Zambia, I think we'd write something. Zambia, in case you don't know this country, please wanna check it out from the world map, okay? It lies in the central and southern of Africa, 50 kwacha. For instance, I'm gonna put zero and zero. We put here, full stop. But in Germany, we don't use full stop. We use instead comma, okay? And that sign, euro, okay? We use comma. So let's go weiter. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna big my board as you are taking a cup of water too. <laughs> okay. Cool. So here, zero euro. Euro is called euro. Written like this. Okay, Euro in English. Remember what I said in German, concurrent letters E and U is always pronounced like O, Euro, Euro. So, no Euro, 20 cent. So, das heißt 20 cent, 30 cent, 40 cent, 50, 60, and so on and so forth. You're gonna finish it up, we have done the numbers, okay? Okay, we have done that's yet here ein euro, ein euro. Okay, you're gonna do that. We've done the numbers. It's your homework, a lot of homework today. Or you can pause the video and check it out, then come back to it. Okay. So they are coaching you how to now here configure. We did this already. 80 axic. 85, I told you last time, start from right, going to the left, fünf und axis, that is five plus 80 und axis. Ein und vierzig, I've just shown you marked, we have done that already. You are experts, you guys now, here we go. That's why, price, prices or prices, Bus is the richtig. Wollen Sie und crossen Sie an. What is correct? 
listen and cross out. Okay, they're mentioning the prices, what cost what, but don't worry about that. What we are worried about is how to mention them. So here, Broshen, Fuf, Undraisi, Cent. Okay, these are cents. And, and, and you know it all. What is new? Okay, non or non sick. So here you can say, ein euro und zwanzig, one euro and twenty. But when you come here, okay, they won't say ein euro und zwanzig. No, it's like we are in school now. They are too fast. So for example, it's one euro twenty is just going to say, ein, ein zwanzig. Ein zwanzig. Who? Is it twenty one or what? You know. I remember the time that I came uh, to Germany. It was really, really, really so funny. I want to get back to you so that you see me. Play. It was so hard the first time of myself just going to shop. Oh my God. I'm not full sick. I'm not full sick. So I'm dry sick. So you are confused. Which one is the euro side? Which one is the saints side? So what I was doing, even when Okay, I was in a super, I just want to buy a pen. Okay, I just want to buy a pen. I would carry more money, like $20, or uh, sorry, 20 euros. I know this because, because that time when I came about 12 years ago, the screens were not showing what the amount, you get a point. Okay, only the seller or the fecal farin, if it's a woman or the fecal if it's a man, would see, then tells you, okay? And on Swansik, draw on Swansik. You're confused, sweating. So what I'll do, even when I'm buying a pen, simple pen, I'll just carry 20 euros or 10 euros. He mentions or she mentions something, I just put the money <laughs> on the table or whatever that person is called, and I buy. So you have to really be sharp to listen. They wouldn't say, wounded euro, wound, from six cents, no. If it's 100, and 100 euros, 50 cents, they'll simply say 100 and from six. And then you check it out, okay, 100 euros, 50 cents. If it's 150 euros, they will say 100, 100 and from six euro to differentiate. So there's so many, many methods. So now what we're gonna do here, a bit of, Break. I want to drink some water and we drink some water too when we come back. But meanwhile, some bit of promo. Okay, welcome back. Just got some water. Now we're gonna continue. I'm going to share my beautiful screen and get back to our little greatest. Okay, so here I have Sri Oiro und Swansik Cent. Fish, Sri Oiro Noin. Und non sich cent. Fish, try euro. That's was, that's all. There we go. Some pop ups here for my computer. I don't know today. Too much pop ups. There we go. Let's check the next. Now, here, please take note of what I'm about to talk about. They dry. ZNZ then prospect an. Okay, so see the prospect here. What we have? Fragen Sie und antworten Sie. So ask and respond. Okay, so somebody's going to ask somebody's 
going to respond by spill. What, how much does this cost? Then you are going to respond, the price is here. How much? 500 grams, oh, this is bread cost. You are going to respond, but there is a trick they're trying to figure out. Let's check first. Zonda Angebote. Now again here, take your pen. We are going to split. There are two words here. Um, or oh, yellow to yellow, it's not making that much difference. Okay. Zonda means special. Like in a supermarket, I think you know prices already that um, sugar by spew, and kilo, sugar costed 60 cent. Okay, then tomorrow you'll find it, or next week you find it dry six cent and kilo. Ah, you want to buy everything because they have reduced that special angibot. So Zonda means special angibot means offer, special offer. Okay, sorry, Zonda angibot. Now, angibot without E at the end. Angebot is singular. Okay, offer. Bote, angebote offers, plural. Jot down that, please. Okay. Aus, unsere, liebens, mitel, abteilung. I know for you it's really, what is really reading here? Okay. So, special offers, aus, okay, from, Unsere means our Lebensmittel Abteilung. You can only read properly if you know, sing, you know, short singular words put together. So now I know because Lebensmittel, I'm going to start from here, Lebens up to this L. Okay. Lebensmittel means food stuff. Okay. Write down. Lebensmittel means food stuff. Then the last word here, Abteilung. This is not only in the supermarket, everywhere, in jobs, maybe even in homes. Abteilung means department, okay? So, so special offers, okay, from our foods department. When you enter a supermarket, there are so many things, isn't it? Some are not foods. Like in Germany now, you find that a supermarket can even sell shoes, okay, or footballs, books, but it's a supermarket, okay? So now they are telling you they are advertising on the door. Angebote aus unserer Lebensmittel Abteilung. Then you rush there, or let's see what they have reduced, okay? Take note that. Now, I've been here. Viele, viele hier. Menge oder Menge Dinge. We have got a lot of varieties. Let's check. Milch, cheese, I think this is cheese, Käse, Orangen, and so on and so forth. Now let's check here. Um, take a pen, there's something important you've got to learn, okay? Now here, how do you ask, okay? Oh, sorry. Kosten, write down. Kosten, okay? Kosten means cost, like in English. I think you can figure out, okay? Cost. But we can either say Kosten or Costed, depending, okay? Singular, if you are referring to something singular, we use costed. If we are referring to something more, okay, plural, we use costed, like in this case, okay? Was kosten 100 gram Käse? Costed because of 100 grams cheese. So what, what's the cost of 100 gram cheese? But if you want to ask one gram 
cheese, you are not going to use cos 10. You are going to use cos 30 because of singular. Okay? You are going to say verse cos 30. I one gram kz. This is the main part of now where, where we enter in. Okay? Lesson to differ. When do you use cos 30? When do you use cos 10? Imagine you, you come here, you are in Germany, then you go to the shop assistant. You say, and should you get Z? Okay, then um, you have got here one book. Okay, verse cost 10 this year, book cost 10, but it's only one verse cost 8. Okay, verse cost 8 this year, book. But if I've got two books, okay, where is my other book? If I've got two books, I hope you're seeing this, two books, I'm going to use verse cos 10 me because I'm talking of plural, okay? Good, super. German is simple, if you follow just the rules. Okay, but in English, it's the same. What's the cost of 100, 100 grams sugar? What's the cost of, uh, one gram sugar, isn't it? But in German, we differentiate. Okay, now look at the response also. You respond accordingly. 100 gram KZ cost 10. Where is 100 grams KZ? Do we have 100 grams KZ? Do we have here? Uh -huh. So, cheese. 100 gram KZ cost 10. Try euro fuf und fiatzik. Awesome. Wie viel kostet ein Kilo Hackfleisch? Now look at this. First, let me define this. Hackfleisch, for those that love meat, of course, I'm not a vegetarian too. <laughs> Hackfleisch means minced meat. You know, minced meat. And oh, we've got it here, looks nice. So, the few, V, how few is much, okay? Please write down this. Feel is much. I'm gonna um, break a little bit here. If you've got, let me write, I hope it fits. Feel, mm -hmm. this is much. Things you cannot count, okay? Like how much sugar? In your tea, you can't count sugar, but you can count spoons, isn't it? So few, we use it for uncountables. But, okay, I'm going to say slash. If you add e, file, file means things you can count, okay? For instance, in class, you enter there 50 students. Normally you have got 20. Ah, okay? You can say, feel it, okay? Feel it, because you can count them. We have 50, feel it. But what you can't count, feel, okay? Like water, feel vasa. You can't say, feel it, vasa. No, you, you can't, you, you, you use E, things you can count. What you can't count, feel, okay? That was a break down, if you take note of that. So the few costed one kilo hackflesh, okay? Because you can't count hackflesh, the stuff inside here. And why are we using costed? Because of one, one kilo, take note of that. So you can respond now here, okay? Ein, you can start from here, one kilo hackflesh costed, Six euro nine and nine six. Six euro nine or nine six. Simple. Okay. I repeat. I one kilo hack flash costed six euro nine and nine six. That's one kilo. Uh, means me costs this much. Okay. 
you can ask other things. How do you ask chocolate? This is chocolate. Okay, you are going to ask V, okay? You can ask V few or VAS. What is important is, are you going to use cost 10 or cost 30? Now let's check here. 100 grams. So I'm going to ask VAS cost 10, 100 gram chocolate. Okay, or I can still say V few, V few cost. 10 100 gram chocolate then answer 100 gram chocolate okay cost 10 because of 100 going on axis cent and so on and so forth you can ask about aya about that and that let's check it out and kilo and kilogram okay they're just giving you know conversions and stuff okay and a flash zapped i a flash flash means bottle okay zapped that is one bottle of juice that's zapped here i ne pakum tea pakum is packet one packet of tea so now here you are saying I ne I ne I ne there's a reason. So the articles are D D flash D pakum T okay. Doze tomato doze is a can a can you know here there's too much canned tomatoes doze canned tomato. Ein Becher Zane Ein Becher Zane Becher Okay, zane. Zane is um how can I cream? I can say cream. I need besha zane. A besha is something like a cup, but not a cup. A container, a container of cream. Okay, so bus costed, the few costed. So they are giving variante here. How you can ask. Vas costed an kilo orange. The few costed an kilo orange. You see, so important is costed. Costed why? Because of an kilo singular in quantity. Now, hundred grams. Vas cost ten more. The few cost ten more. Case on so on so forth. So what have you learned here? What you have learned is costed, costed. When do you use it? Please take note. I repeat, costed, singular. Costed, a lot or more. Okay? Good. A. Einkaufen und kochen. Shopping and cooking you you know all these words now let's check a ants have them marked out in the market of them marked ah bus craft hair graph hair graph mr graph I, i'm sure this is the man this is the seller Hore Z und crossen Z and listen and cross out, don't worry. So here, bus kauft, a graph, you know why we are saying kauft, okay? What buys, a graph. Kartoffeln, Apfel, Aya, we don't know, but you know all these quantities, okay? I mean, names of these. Be, wer sagt das? Who says this? Crossen Z. And und horen sie dann noch einmal. So who says this? Cross out, then listen again, probably to check your answers. Noch einmal. Guten Tag. Ich hätte gerne Kartoffeln. Okay. Gern. Wie viel möchten Sie denn? Ich brauche auch noch 
hefte. Ja, bitte, haben Sie Eier? Nein, tut mir leid. Nein, danke, das ist alles. So now, get it back to the full screen. You are following how the conversation is going. It's becoming very familiar, isn't it? Nothing hard, because you understood the principles behind. That's the main secret. Okay. Okay, yeah, you got it. Getting back to my beautiful screen. Here we go. Good. Now, look here. I'm gonna define some words here. You know this. Good attack. There is ich hätte gehen. Okay. Now here. Hätte, remember, I uh, hope you are able to see a uh, mit umlaut. On top there, Kartoffeln. So, is buying there. Ich hätte simply means I would have. Okay, I would have gain. Gain is an emphasis, like something you like. Okay, you are emphasizing. We put gain, like you asked me, Evans, uh, because I love black tea. Okay, with citron. Uh, citron is uh, what's this? Uh, lemon. Evans, blacks do tea, swaden so, so tea with citron. That's black tea with. I simply answer, oh, again. Then I'm telling somebody I really like it's an emphasis of, you know, liking something. So, ich hätte gern Kartoffeln. I would have, or in this case, I would buy, okay, Kartoffel. So, whatever I'm buying, potatoes must be there, Kartoffeln. Okay, that's the meaning here. Then somebody, she responds, gain, meaning, Definitely, I'm going to give you, okay? In fact, again, I can uh, pair it up with definitely. Wie viel möchten Sie denn? Möchten, you know that, okay? Now, wie viel, how much would you like then? Okay, wie viel möchten Sie? So the woman is asking the man, then the response, ich brauche auch, okay, there is no, it's not a conversation, it's a CD, but I'm just trying to define. Ich brauche auch noch Apfel. Is it Apfel? There's umlaut, Apfel, plural. Ich brauche, you know that. I auch also, I also need apples, okay? I also need Apples. Remember, no is just like more, okay? More to buy. I can buy this and that. Then somebody else, you finish. Then I can say, it's broken. No, that's on that. I also need this and that. No means it's open. You're still buying, okay? Yeah, bitte. Yes, please. You know what it means here. Nein, tut mir leid. You know what it means? Nein, danke. Das ist alles. Okay? So maybe somebody, he was asked, you need something more? So he responds, nein, danke. No, thank you. Das ist alles. Alles means that's all. That's all. Das ist alles. Okay? So sometimes you can be buying, you're telling the shopkeeper, uh, I bitte, brought bitte, das bitte, das bitte. Then you pause, she can ask you. Alles means that's all. Then you can say, yeah, okay. That's it. The rules of shopping. That's why Roren Spiel. You know, Ro, this is Roren Spiel. Spiel is play. Ro, this you know, roll from one person to the other, you exchange, roll and spiel. Ah, was brauchen Sie heute? Spielen Sie ein Gespräch mit Ihrer Partnerin, Ihrem Partner? Okay. Heute, 
maybe it's a new word it means today. What do you need today? Write down. Play the discussion, the conversation, like here with your partner. Okay. Fecoifarin. Fecoifarin means salesperson who is a lady. And in, in Fecoifa, without in means salesman, okay? Or masculine, feminine. Kundin, Kundin, I'm going to do this. Okay? Kunde, Kunde is customer, okay? Who is a man? Kundin is a customer who is a feminine or a lady or a woman. You see, this is it in Germany. We always, in anything, differentiate feminine, masculine. Okay? So this is the role. Let's just read it. Be the shun. When you enter a shop, okay, immediately you enter, somebody says, be the shun. Shun, remember, means if you split it, separate it without be the, means beautiful, nice thing. Okay, so this is a nice welcome by the shopkeeper. You just open the door, you enter the supermarket or any shop, bitter shun, okay, like beautiful, it's nice you are here, okay? Can I in and help him? Now, the shopkeeper asks you, can I in and help him? You remember in and the greatest dear, the greatest in and, yeah? So this is respect also. Can I in and help him? Help means to help. Can I help you? Also, can I Z help him? S I E. You know, it's, it plays everywhere, but sometimes, many times, they would like to say in and in the shops. Then, response here the Kundin or the Kunde. You can answer. Ich möchte bienen, ich hätte gern spinach. Sure, you can choose any of these. Ich brauche, you see, I need Groschen. Or, wo finde ich? Wo means where, finde, from finden, to find, where you can find something. Wo finde ich? Brot. Where can I find? That's just an example. I, want, I like bread. Brot. Where can I find brot? bread? Wo finde ich? Brot. Or, after they have asked you this, you can respond. Haben Sie, do you have? Okay. Haben Sie rice? Do you have rice? You know. So cool and so easy. Just from one question. Can it in any help him? Can I help you? Then you start responding all this. Okay. Let's move on. The few now, after you have mentioned whatever you want, goes back to the shopkeeper. The few brow okay. Okay. She can ask you. How much do you need or how much would you like to have most then? Okay, remember would like broken need. The few broken Z then or the few most then Z then. Then we have mentioned it above. Then you now who is buying, you're going to say, I'm Fund brought. Fund, I can say, is pound. You know, like the British system, as we use kilos, I think in the English system. Um, I mean, in the uh, English system, we use uh, in weight, kilos and stuff. In uh, German, it's called like fund, okay? Like special lobs, the weight of bread. Ein Pfund brought. Now you are responding. Ein Kilo Lauch. Lauch is a plant like this, very big, nice, tasty. Dry Bienen. You know what this means. Dry Bienen. 100 gram Speck. <laughs> Speck, this is Speck. It's a special food in Germany. And so on. You can continue. Okay. Vier 
flashing, pure flashing cola. Four bottles of cola or Coca Cola to be like it that way. Then, after you've mentioned gain, okay, definitely or affirmative in positive. Gain, here, bitte. Here is giving you, here, please. Mochten Sie sonst noch etwas? Okay. She gives you, maybe you want something else, okay? Would you like, on top of this, some more etwas is something, okay? Noch etwas, on top of this, you'd like something more. Okay, now it's up to you. Nein, danke, das ist alles. No, thank you, that's all. So now let's check here. Ich möchte do, we have done this above. Here we go. Oh, it's not finished. Nein, Alice, then we come here. She now tells you the shopkeeper, tells you das macht, or this makes, mm -mm -mm, or das kostet, dann, mm -mm -mm, or, or this costs, like this, now it's in one packet, everything. That's why she's saying cost, costs, not cost then, because it's, it's one buying. Does cost it, you can say does cost it, or that does marked, you choose. Does marked 300 euro, 200 euros. Oh, that's a lot of buying. Does cost it? 500 euro bitte, then you give out the money. Interesting. B. Spielen Sie weitere Gespräche. Tauschen Sie auf die Rollen. Okay. Spielen Sie, play, continue. Weitere means to continue. Continue the conversation. Continue uh, this play. In conversation, tauschen Sie, tauschen, please write down. Tauschen means exchange, tauschen, okay? Also, give me bread, butter system, <laughs> that's tauschen. Auch die Rollen, also the roles. Okay, you played this role as a customer, now I'm going to play the role as a shopkeeper, okay? Write down, please. So this is what you are going to work on with your friend. I won't go through all, okay? Eins, zwei, drei, im Obst und Gemüseland. Okay, im Obst und Gemüse. So um, I can just define this. In Obst means fruits, okay? In Obst means fruit. Fruit and Gemüse, I'm going to end here. Gemüse means vegetables. Okay? So fruit and vegetable laden. Laden means shop. Okay? Shops. Shop or shops. Laden. So this is a shop where you only find fruits and vegetables. So fecal farin or fecal far. The coifarin or the coifar, so small, I hope you are able to see. Dry bienen kosten ein euro fiatsik. Okay, so she's giving you the prices, and you, you have asked what you want to buy. Okay, now here they are giving you instructions, what you are going to talk about. The most ten obst und gemose kaufen, that you want to buy fruits and vegetables. Drei Bienen, ein Kilo Lach und ein Pfund Spinat. Okay. So you are going to play the role as above using all these terminologies. Please find a partner and discuss like we discussed above. Same thing here. In their bakery. In their bakery. This is article for bakery. That's dotted bakery. Bakery. So I'm brushing, okay, you know what brushing is, okay? Costet 
ein Pfund Brot kostet 1,50 Euro. Okay, und, 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 und. Drei. An der Fleischdecke. Okay, Fleischdecke. So Fleischdecke, this is where they sell the uh, meat, like butchery. Okay. So 100 gram Hackfleisch, 100 grams uh, minced meat costs so much. 100 gram speck costs so much. Speck is part of the meat, special. So you must then, you the buyer, you want to buy a kilo hack flesh and 100 gram speck. Interesting. So what is important here? Remember the names of things, foods, costed or costed when you will use it. Don't forget. Okay, and the figures, the numbers, Swansic oil, Dwesic oil, and so on and so forth. We are getting towards the end of it. Oh, let's check. A dry tag tashin international reserve ten. Really, really, really interesting. So look at that. What before I make definition? This is now for people, okay, who are fond of restaurants. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. Lots of lots of lots of lots. Food stuff. Now, I want to say um, something. Let me stop sharing before we continue here. Mostly when you enter, uh, this is now a restaurant we are getting to in Germany. There are so many restaurants. They respect food. Every corner, left, right, maybe down, uh, you see restaurants everywhere. If there's a function, music playing outside, live concert, it's food, food sausages, and and. and now they give you the menu. It's not always that you have got uh, the menu where they are translating English, French, and Dutch. Many it's in German. So this is where it comes in. In the initial stages, when you come here, you're going to have somebody to accompany you. Okay? <laughs> to accompany you. If you jump into a restaurant without English, wow. Better tell them, show me what this means so that you are able to see what you want to eat before you eat uh, something else. Okay? But the food here is quite, uh, I mean, popular to the Savannah nations as well, like Zambia in this particular. And now going back to our screen. Okay. I'm not a professional cook, neither do you. I think if you are one, you are going to do the research here. Let's check what we can figure out. Tag, tashin. Okay, tag. I think we know tag is dough from flour. Yeah, make a dough, dough. Then you put inside maybe some meat to make like a, is it a meat pie or something? So that's a tashin. Tashin is like a pocket from flour. Pocket you put inside, then you you bake it. Okay. I'm not a specialist here, so we are not going to spend much time internationally, international recepte, okay? I can define here, recept, if you remove E, recept means recipe, okay? Recipe, how to do, make food and stuff recipe. So with E, it's recipes, plural. Wo heißen? Tag Tashin, so let's just see the text and again they say, oh, that's too much. We are not going to spend time here. It's not interesting. Where do they mix such kind of stuff in which countries, blah, blah. They lesen sie noch einmal und was brauchen sie für alle Tag Tashin, kaufen sie ein. Okay, mail, this is not important. Okay, you know the names here, you know the names. Your homework is just read through, okay? Read through, but never bother yourself. 
we are not professional cooks. We are not professional cooks. We are not professional cooks. Okay. Read what you can. And thank God that this brings us back to where we started from. Oh, good. Good. I'm going to stop sharing. And I'm so happy that this topic is done, is finished. Zipte lection. Lesson seven is gone. I'm coughing or shopping. After this lesson, I'm pretty sure. The time that I'm going to meet you, if we're going to meet in Germany, coming from other countries, I would love to go shopping with you so that you can explain to me, I can observe how you understood the lessons. But I know students from Zambia, I'm going to go shopping with you. So please pick it up, revise and revise and revise. And in this case, I say, God bless you. See you in the next lesson. Bye-bye. Ivan Srikumara from the Learning Institute, Germany Hamburg, signing off.